Hi, hello, hi, welcome back. So, today, we are finally back decorating Space Meow 2. No, where'd it go? Move that to the top, shall we? Kratos, right here. Oh yeah, so I've been doing a little bit of work on this off-camera. Just a little bit of, like, touch-up, grindy stuff that's not that interesting for camera. Let me show you. So, the first thing I've done is I've added a bit of, like, electricity in the background. The kind of like finger dash laser objects, you know, I've added those in the background just to add a little bit more variation. I also decorated the second portion of this pre-drop right here, like so. So if you don't know, I made this whole layout in an hour. Uh, there's a video that I made of that a little while ago. And then I went through and decorated a few of these parts and these took an hour each to decorate. So yeah. I think what I want to do today is I want to fill in the gap right here and then probably decorate one of these later parts further down the line. Maybe even this ball part could be cool. I don't know. Might go ahead and start decorating this. It's just a bunch of straight fly, so I'm going to have to come up with some kind of good design for big structures, right? I'm thinking of maybe using these blocks. I kind of want to use these. I think that would be quite neat. going to start off by making a bunch of structures like so. And I'm going to like extend these down an extra block as well because as you can see, there's a small gap here because I made this straight fly a little little bit tighter than regular straight fly. I made this tighter? What do I want to do for the design here? Can I like actually use these ones properly maybe? Yeah, so you can see this kind of creates like if you look very, very closely, it's brighter on the outlines here than it is on the inside. So I kind of want to, I guess, utilize that in a way. So let's add these and then let's add these across the top here. Yeah, there we go. That makes sense. All right, let's uh, just copy paste this everywhere then. I got the song stuck in my head from building earlier. <laughs> so now we've got these base structures here. Okay, so I have this one saw blade here. I think I'm going to have to come up with a bit of a better design. Well, obviously I'm going to have to come up with a different design for the saw blade, but I need to have more saw blades blades kind of mixed around. Otherwise, this one saw blade is going to look incredibly out of place. So I think I want to go with these ones even, but I think I need to finish the block design first. Yeah. So at the moment, it's very see-through, which is all right. I don't know. It needs something a little bit better. I'm thinking of layering something behind it, maybe. Let's try layering these behind on color seven so that they're, they're just black, right? Yeah. Looks interesting. I do kind of like the vibe of that, yeah, not gonna lie. But this middle has to go. There has to be something else in the center here, I reckon. What if, okay, hear me out. This might be kind of weird and not very good, but we'll see how we go. Or even, no, I'll uh, I'll use these, where are they? I swear they're in this tab. These ones here. Yeah, I could do that. Tempted to even make these white, but I don't think that's gonna work real well, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> but I can put a bit of an angle on these. So I kind of want to scale these up ever so slightly and create just a little bit of an angle on them something like that okay yeah okay cool so i got that in place and now what i can do is add a big splodge of glow maybe as well yeah of course got a scale hack it though and i put a I've put a couple of them down yeah that's cool i like that i like that all right neat can't forget the dripping objects from the roof that are scaled up a little bit yeah 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 Let's lay that below all of that like so and then i can do something like that yeah okay old mate yes get a couple of these in there oh yeah okay this is coming together this is coming together i like those guys i think they're fun all right, cool. See, I might I might even do something like that. It's a bit of a weird feel for it, but I, I kind of like it. I kind of like it. And then what I might even do is take this and then scale this up to three times and then put that on T3. And then so I'll just have that be black low over the whole thing just to make it a little bit darker, right? This is a little bit ridiculous, but it's also kind of funny. So I'm going to keep it. <laughs> All right. I'm going to actually give these a new color, make that black, but I'm going to lower the opacity a little bit. So maybe just to, cause that that's without it. That's full opacity. So the full opacity is a bit much. Maybe just like there even, something like that. Yeah, okay, cool. I think that looks so much better than all of these. And it's a little bit ridiculous, but I like it. I like it. <laughs> even as one more little detail, I, I can add some of these like spiky objects in here. <laughs> it's so goofy. I love it so much. All right, let's uh, do a little bit of copy paste magic. Also got to clarify that this level isn't meant to be good. This is not meant to be a decent level that's like well made or anything. This is just like for fun. Again, made this layout in an hour. This level isn't going to actually be a top one. So a lot of people in the comment section of the previous episode being like, oh, you should actually like get decent creators to do this. No, that's not the goal of this. This gameplay is actually dreadful. If I wanted to make a decent top one, I would, but I don't. <laughs> and a decent top one is not what this is meant to be. And I mean, evidently, look at all the copy paste I'm doing here, right? <laughs> Scare one of these guys. Oh my God, look at that. <laughs> you know what? I was gonna replace these spikes with something that aren't just like 
dark and black like this, but I don't know if I want to. What I might actually do is take spikes, lay them above, and then just have them pulse to these spikes. So I'm gonna add these to group 32, like so. What color do I want them to be? Yeah, let's go with that. Let's make them pulse to that color there. Now time to go over every single spike with this object here. Oh, and we're gonna have to do the same for the mini spikes as well. Okay, so there's the spikes like that. So by default, 32 is going to be zero opacity, like so. And then I will pulse channel one with a slightly lighter color. So let's select color one here, paste that color in, and then let's make it a little bit more orangey and a little bit brighter maybe. Yes, I like that, I like that, okay. And then I can do the same for group 32, like that. Uh, oh, I'm gonna have to pulse it visible, won't I? Yeah. Yes, I like that. Okay. Actually, I'll do the uh, I'll do the classic Wolsey thing where you take this and then make it go right to the last beat. One, two, three, four, five, ten in between. So I'll copy these and then go. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Select everything in here. A line X. Ah, oh, that didn't work. Oh my god, look at the objects. <laughs> I guess I'll have to do it for all of the objects first. Select all of these. A line X. I think that should be good. Nice, okay, awesome. So now time for the other objects I wanna do. So what I wanna do for this, which I'm really, really wanted to do, I've always wanted to do this. Let's set this to a rotation of 40. And then what I can do is I should be able to create another gear and mesh these together like so, but make this one negative 40. It crashed, okay, awesome. Why did my cube jump backwards at first there? Okay, that was strange. Okay, so good news is those gears are meshing together exactly how I wanted. Bot doesn't like a start pause. All right, good to know. Well, at least I know that these are meshed together now, which is cool. So now I can just kind of go ham with these, right? And putting them all together like so. It's one of the first things I tried to do when I first started creating and uh, it didn't work because it was 2.0 and you couldn't control the rotations, which was such a shame, but oh well. This is one, two, three, four. So this is a 12 tooth. This is one and this is a 10 tooth. So that means I need to find 10 twelfths, which is 10 divided by 12 33.3 so 33 should about work okay this is the most OCD over the top thing I've ever done but it's it's fine it's fine <laughs> all right I think that's pretty good now what I want to do is let's go to zeros just so I can select all of these saw blades here and let's turn the glow off like so okay now I want to create some things that kind of go between them I could copy paste these but I don't know if I want to do that you know what would be really cool actually if I got a big bit of glow scaled it up a little bit and then put it behind some of these and then put give that like yeah color object one that's a bit better or I should have done this before I copy pasted the saws everywhere yeah that would have been a good idea now what I kind of want to do is have something to obscure these a little bit because it just kind of goes up right tempted to add just some black glow in there just a big like black glow staircase maybe so if I make that seven I'll do something like this go next free and then make these all black with the opacity 0.25 maybe and then make a glow staircase yeah I know kind of crazy. Not just scaling up glow this time. Yeah, no, I'm actually making a glow staircase. Okay. <laughs> just so I can get in these little nooks and crannies, right? And let's just copy paste these around the place here. And I got to remember to lay these above everything. So T2 and they don't look that good. <laughs> let's select these and let's make the opacity a little bit more until it's like actually good. Kind of want to add these things and have them be color one. Now what I want to do to actually start filling in some space <laughs> is design kind of an arrow because I feel like there's like a pretty open space here pretty open space here. So let's come up with some form of arrow design up here. I'm thinking I want to use maybe just like that and that type of thing. I mean, it's a pretty generic design, right? But I mean, look at the level, bro. And I might scale up a circle like this, put it below those and make the circle a bit of a darker color like that. Yeah, I think that works. And then I can just like put that here, have it point in like different directions, like maybe have one point there. Yeah, like that. What I kind of want to do is let's go on to layer five here, a brand new layer. Let's grab a bit of glow here. This is going to be a little bit controversial maybe It's a, it's a little splash of extra color. I think that's awesome. Okay. So what I want to do for a background is I want to put in these and then just scale hack them up. You'll start to notice a theme here. I'm doing a lot of scale hack. And then maybe that color. I think that's the color of um, the background objects in this part as well. So I think that'll work pretty well. So I'll do that and then I'll layer that behind everything. So let's do, I guess I could probably just copy paste the background move triggers here, right? Okay. I think that's a pretty good custom background. And honestly, I might call that part just about done. 
yeah, I think that's just about done. Yep, all right, I'm gonna call that part finished. Couple little polishes I need to do. First of all being I need to make these fade in and out of existence when they need to. So let's make a little bit of a logo for Kratos. Why not? Yeah, why not? So I'm gonna start off with a couple of slopes here. I don't know what I'm doing with this, by the way. I have not planned this out in the slightest. I'm just seeing how we go. That's a really cool looking K. I accidentally made that not even. Um, I think it looks better not being even, honestly. I think it's like nice and stylized, right? I'm not gonna lie to you, I am really, really proud of this. Whoa, look at it on the black background. Oh man, Kratos. And then I might do an underline as well with this same like slope kind of style, right? Hell yeah, okay. I did not think that was gonna pan out well, I'm gonna be completely honest with you, but I'm really glad it did. All right, so let's copy paste that and let's scale this down by a bunch, right? Yes, oh, that's amazing, that's amazing. Okay, I'm gonna pulse it a dark red. There still needs to be a little bit more polish done here, like this needs to be extended a bit further along. But for the time being, I think that's pretty good. We're an hour and 20 minutes into the recording now, so I think I better work on another part, yeah. You know what, I think I'm just going to work on this ball part. It should be nice and quick, which is good, so uh, yeah, let, let's do that, let's do that. Okay, so what I'm thinking for this part is I kind of, hmm, first of all, do I want to do like just kind of pillars going down like this? And then I'm thinking maybe even some form of like growth looking thing out here. Yeah, that could be interesting. That could be interesting. Okay. Some of these type of objects that are scaled up and stuff like that, right? It'll be kind of coming out the side there. What I kind of want to do for this part is use brick blocks. Yeah, I don't know why I've just had a hankering to use brick blocks recently. So the first thing I'm going to do as usual with these is I'm um, going to replace all of these with regular outlines. I should probably start making my layouts with regular outlines, but you know what? It's fine. It's fine. All right. So now let's, I guess, add the bricks, something like that. Yeah, I think that's good. All right. So I'm going to do that. I want to add some black glow up the top here. All right. I think that works. Cool. Okay, so I've got that done. Um, I kind of want to change the object color to be a little bit less in your face, I guess. Yeah, I think that works with the darkness. I like that. So now let's copy paste this over here and let's just copy paste them into all of these different structures here. I think that's a very good start to that part. All right, nice. Okay, so now I think we can start working on the growth a little bit. The first, I mean, before I do that, what I might do is just get a glow splotch like so. Oh no, these are very off grid. Just to darken the orb a little bit, I might even go ahead and put in the giant glow like that. Yeah, I think that works, honestly. And that just makes them blend a lot better into the level. So I think the first thing I want to do with this growth is start off by getting these and making it into a ball type thing. It's hard to see what it's going on. So I'll turn preview mode off, but I'll take these, put them into a ball. So now we've got a ball of those. And this is just essentially going to create a very easy asset for me to just copy paste all over the place, which I think is really kind of neat. Let me turn free move on. And then I can just kind of copy paste these under here and just kind of create all sorts of growth looking stuff, right? Okay. So if I turn preview mode off here, we should see that I've got a bunch of these copy pasted around the place like so. I'm going to make the background a little bit brighter. I'm not going to lie because the background's very, very dark. Oh, that's so much easy to see stuff now. So now that I've got that, what I want to do is I want to add some extra little bits in here that just accentuates the growth a little bit, if that makes sense. I want to use some of these objects that are kind of scaled up like so. And then I want to give these a dark color, like maybe color one even, yeah. And then maybe B2. So it's still behind that, but still in front of those. And then I could just kind of copy paste a bunch of these, layer them on top of each other. Whoops. It looks a little bit weird at the moment, but once I add a little bit more stuff to it and a little bit more glow and maybe some pulsing objects even, stuff like that, I think it'll look a lot less out of place. Okay, pretty good, pretty good. So now uh, let's go ahead and let's add a little bit of glow in there as well, just as a little touch up here. Okay, cool. Uh, I think that's pretty good. And we can add a few more objects down there that just kind of fills that out a little bit. Maybe some of these objects in here, yeah. Just to kind of tie it all together, right, yeah. Yeah, that blends in a lot nicer. You can kind of see a lot more of the ground there and I, Mmm. That's a lot better. That's a lot better. I honestly think these little bits of growth might be done. I did want to add a little bit of animated object to it. I might even... Oh, okay. I know what I'm going to do. These ones. These animated objects are awesome. Scaled up like so. Creates atmosphere. Creates atmosphere. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> now the spikes. I feel like we need some custom spikes up in here. 
Yeah, that's all right. Needs a bit of glow on it, right? Needs a bit of glow on it. Yeah, that, that just helps like give a hint. They need something more, I feel like. They need something more. That actually works. I like that. Okay, I'm gonna do that for all the spikes then. Maybe have them move in. Yeah, having them move in might work well. Okay. Mm, not quite the movements that I want out of that. Yeah, I don't know. They just don't feel quite right. So I kind of want to move them back by like one, two, three, four, and then double this to point four. Yeah, that's more the movement I want. That's more the movement I want. All right, awesome. Okay, well, I might almost call that part complete. Yeah, almost. I might add a couple more things in the background, and I might even bring back these little saw blade looking things. Or maybe, no, no, that's right. What I was originally going to do was I was going to grab these, kind of scale them up, of course, to like, I don't know. And then I'm going to copy paste this flip it round and then we can create some kind of like a bush going up like that and that was my original plan for the background to have bushes kind of sticking up like that and I honestly really like that oh and then these can even move up yeah I think that moving up would look really really awesome okay okay so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna copy paste these around the place kind of offset them a little bit from each other like so yeah that should work and then what I'm gonna do is I'm also going to it's gonna move 30 blocks why no not 30 blocks oh I'll have every other one moving down yeah how about that Okay. That's perfect. That's perfect. Yeah, I really like that actually. Okay, this is probably one of my more favorite parts of the level now. All right, awesome. All right, I think I'd call that part basically done. Maybe pulses I could do? All right, it's probably just going to be pulsing. Uh, what object color does these use? 13. Probably just going to be pulsing 13 to black or just at least a darker version of itself, right? On this here, I'm going to make the background a little bit brighter as well. Tempted to make these jump orbs flash here. I think that could be really cool, actually. Or even instead of just doing that, what I'll do is a 0.1 fade in and fade out like that. Yeah, like that. And then I might have these objects down here. And I might do a similar thing of making these kind of breathe in and out. Okay, cool. So now this part's kind of pulsing. I like that. I like that. Okay, neat. Nice. Okay, so we went from building the goofiest looking part in the world all the way over here. Look how goofy and ridiculous this looks. Oh my god. To building probably one of the most atmospheric parts in the whole level. I really, really like this part. I think it's awesome. I think they're both really cool, but just in both very, very different aspects, right? This level is actually coming along. You know what? This is coming along. Anyway, I think we're going to end this building off here. Let's do a showcase of the whole level as of the end of this episode episode. Boom shakalak. All right. <laughs> Boom shakalak. I don't know why I said that. All right. Anyway, so that is Kratos. Yep. There we go. Boom. All right. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video, this episode of decorating Kratos. I'm really, really enjoying doing this. It's a chance for me to just kind of chill out, relax, and just kind of build. Hell theme is very easy to build for, I feel like. And I'm allowing myself a lot of freedoms with, you know, what I'm allowed to build with, what kind of styles I'm able to do it in, right? The only thing really limiting me is the colors and the structures. Other than that, it's like pretty freeing, right? But yeah, anyway, I'm going to end this one off here. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think of this series. I know a lot a lot of you have been really enjoying watching it and um, I've been really enjoying making it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later.